You know, most of our New Year's resolutions are about improving our bad habits. But why limit them to your physical well-being? Why not improve your cultural side as well, right? That's the idea behind pop culture resolutions to improve the entertainment in your life. Now, here are three resolutions that Nuga columnist Charlie Moss came up with this year. He wants to watch better movies, read more books, and finally finish watching the Firefly series. And Charlie joins us now tonight to talk about pop culture resolutions. So, obviously, you, you came up with this. What kind of movies do you watch now? What does watch better movies mean? Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say better movies, but just different kinds of movies. I kind of gotten into a habit. I've got two small boys, and so they keep me pretty busy. So yeah. usually by the time I start to watch a movie, it's um, you know, more of a kind of popcorn action okay. adventure type movies. The big blockbuster comic, kind. Comic book superhero movies, things like that. So I really want to try to get back and watch movies. You know, like Ga I've never seen Gandhi. Oh, really? Uh, I've never seen Gandhi. I've never seen Ben-Hur. Wow. I've never seen um, Metropolis. Mm -hmm. You know, movies that really kind of define... Uh, movie history. Okay, so, so by better you just mean kind of depth, movies with more depth. Right. Right, okay, right. that seems like a doable resolution not only for you but everybody else at home. You also said you want to read some more books. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that. Why do you think you need to be better read? Well, um, I read a lot of nonfiction, like articles online, yeah. um, and it, it, that goes along with my job, but also um, my wife is in book club and she reads like two to three books a month and oh, so wow. I feel I, I kind of feel that pressure and I'm, <laughs> I'm like 85 percent according to my Kindle 85 percent through American Gods by Neil Gaiman and okay. I, I really um, fiction I, I've I used to love fiction when I was a kid mm -hmm. so I just feel like I need to get back into that okay you also mentioned online we didn't bring it up here but listening to more music too was mm -hmm. something as a kid you know you can't live without your your earbuds right. in as a kid right but as you get older maybe you don't listen to as much music sometimes you don't have enough time I know you know in my life it's hard to kind of squeeze it in I'll listen to it in the car on the way to work when That's I'm dropping the kids <laughs> off things like that um, but to really kind of discover new music and listen to not the same old stuff that you usually do it's it as you get older it's, it's harder to do that so I'm really trying to trying to break that habit. Make the resolution. I like yeah. it. Okay, you also said you and your wife have to get through Firefly. Yeah, right? we, we started we started Firefly um, I think last year and everybody said, oh, you've got to watch Firefly. It's, yep. it's the best. And I like Joss Whedon, but I'm not a huge Joss Whedon okay. fan. I'm not a follower. Um, no may, Buffy? Uh, no, nah, I tried to get in Buffy. I didn't care for it. Um, so we're, I think we're in episode six and okay. I've, uh, my wife said that she's done. So I've, I'm, <laughs> I've got to do it alone. You do have kids at home, yeah. so you know we're going to give you some credit for trying while yeah. you've got two young kids at home. But Firefly is one of those shows, I think some would say, you know, for a certain generation, it's one of those shows you have to watch. Mm -hmm. There's a couple out there, right? I would <laughs> say so. Breaking Bad, definitely. Yeah. Just finished Breaking Bad. Great show. Uh, Mad Men, Walking Dead. Um, I mean, those are the big ones, and they all yeah. have something to say about society. Uh, Downton Abbey as well, even though that show takes place, you know, close to 100 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it still has things to say that are relevant now. Very true. And of course, it improves your water cooler talk when you're exactly. at work, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, of course, you wrote your, your column about that. And we do want to say thank you again so much for joining us. Thanks and everybody at home, oh, you're so welcome. If you haven't read it, you can read the entire article. It's Nuga.com. We've got it called up right here on the iPad. Chat a pop, looking back at resolutions past Charlie Moss. Thank you so much thank for you being very much. here. You're so welcome. And we'll be right back with more Prime News at 7. Stay with us.